name is Austin Che. I affiliate with MIT as a PhD student in computer science, Core 6. Uh, my company is Kinko Bioworks. We engineer organisms, and it started out of uh, the research that we were doing at MIT. My undergraduate training was in traditional computer science, and when I what drew me to MIT's graduate program was I wanted to do something different than programming computers that I've been doing for most of my um, career at that point. And so my advisor convinced me that the next era was programming biology instead of programming silicon. And so at MIT, my graduate work, went, I went and learned biology. I went into lab and I learned that how to manipulate biology like and, and program it using using DNA as as the as the code instead of a typical programming language. Ginkgo was started in 2008 by four four of my classmates, grad, PhD students who were graduating at Brown that time, plus my advisor who we convinced to also join. So the five of us um, started around 2008. We had all the four of us, the grad, um, plus my advisor, had been working in this field for a while. This was, when we started grad school, this was a pretty new area of synthetic biology. And we wanted to take it to the next level. Uh, we wanted to see if we could commercialize some of the ideas that we had. And we didn't, we didn't the, the idea for the company was that we believed in, uh, agreed on the mission that we wanted to do this. We didn't have a specific technology that we were bringing out from our graduate work. Um, it took us a couple years to, uh, to explore the field, try different business models, and you know we we didn't take we didn't take our first money until 2014, um, and so so we were we were trying to explore the area and trying to find find the right fit. And I think now we've we've shown, we've seen an explosive growth and and interest in the company. At the heart of what we're trying to do is is utilize biology as as a technology. Silicon has been great at, at being able to process information. So we can program computers to move, move bits around. But it's not very good at interacting with the physical world. You can see good examples of like macro-sized robots and things like that. Biology is great at manipulating atoms. We can precisely place them at the nanoscale. It can even go up to planet scale. You know, it's not an exaggeration to say that this planet exists because of biology. And so what we're trying to do at, at Ginkgo is to learn how to harness that technology to build things and use biology as a manufacturing platform, whether it's from chemicals or up to you know, lar large, larger things like, like you know, or bigger organisms or you know, on, the, on a global scale. We think that biology has the, has the solution and we just need to learn to utilize it. And so Ginkgo is trying to develop the tools so that we can do that.